Yeah. It's less than three months. Yeah. And you're already stepping on toes, <laughs> <laughs> crossing problems oh, here and there. No, 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 you, no, no, you, no, no Right no. now, you are the problem child of Ghana. Oh, really? Giving us problems. I don't know whether to take that as a, <laughs> as a compliment or... Well, somewhat. <laughs> so, somewhat complimentary. But how bad were things when you assumed the position of managing director? I would say it was that bad. ECG okay. is a very good company that has been on the upward trend for a while now. Mm. It has its own challenges, but uh, it's an exciting place to work. Okay. It, has, uh, it makes you come across all manner of people in this country because you are given power to every single mm -hmm. home within the southern sector, which, has, which encompasses of all the major business districts. So you can imagine, as you said, I'm in everybody's home. Yeah. I think I'm the second person who is in everybody's home apart from the president. That's in the, true. Uh, That's because true. As soon as you raise your head, lights. You see and then water. Ah, yeah. And then water. But yeah. they, are, they, are, they are rich. You know, they are rich is say. slower than yeah, yours. So you should say. <laughs> <laughs> it's lower, uh, yeah. The yeah coverage so is apart slower, from yeah. the telcos, the MTNs and all of that, I mm. think... We had a, we had a, we had a, we had a, either the first or the second. Well, without the you, the telcos can't operate either. Anyway, so that makes me the lifeline. Then. <laughs> Absolutely. Now let's focus uh, a short while on this crumble situation. Um, give us the genesis of the problem in that area. So around 2014, 2015, there was an issue of overbilling because PURC gave some upward adjustment and we had to effect it. We were moving into a new software system which then affected the billing cycle and all of that within the Yilo Krobo, Mania Krobo enclave. So it led to some form of overbilling, which mm. uh, we tried to solve. So through all of that, the conversations kept on going. So between the years of 2014 to 2017, mm -hmm. the people of Mania Krobo and Yilo Krobo have not paid any electricity bills. So during the discussions on the way to move forward, we then decided that, okay, this, this is debt that has happened, so let's fix the problem. So we came up with a roadmap that said the first portion of the 2014 to 2017 should be ring fenced. The debt in 2014 to 2017 is 168 million Ghana cities. 168 million Ghana, Ghana cities. cities okay. Yes. Okay. So now the conversation was now moving forward from 2018 to 2021. Mm -hmm. The bills that have been identified will be spread over a period of five years for them to pay. So we come to your house, we read your meter, then we, we put the, the set amount on your meter. Or you, no, we don't actually put it on your meter. You actually come to the office to negotiate a settlement plan so you can clear it off. Okay. That was the agreement. But it's been one thing after the other. They refuse to go by that agreement. They claim they need sensitization. And I use the word claim advisedly okay. because I, I haven't spoken to everybody. Right. It's a small set of people that I have met that the whole conversation centers around no prepaid meter. Yes, we want prepaid meter. No, we don't like less. It, it, makes, it makes the conversation moving forward very, very, very difficult. Mm. Now, I come into ECG at a point where revenue mobilization is key. Mm. So if you look at me today, and you think my appointment as ECGMD is to solve doom so, then you actually don't understand the work of ECG. ECG is a distributor of power. Mm. ECG buys the power from an independent power producer or a government power producer. So the government ones are... Bui. So basically you don't produce... I don't produce yeah, power. You just All distribute. I do is distribute. Right. So we and VRA for government of Ghana, you have the likes of car power, ship, mm -hmm. AXA, SEN power uh, as independent power producers. So when we buy the power through a power purchase agreement, what do we have to do? We have to run it through Gridco mm -hmm. to our box supply point substations. So I have to pay Gridco for transmitting the power to me. I have to pay the independent power producer for producing, or the power producers for producing the power. Now, I then distribute within my network. Mm. Now, when I distribute within my network, I have losses ranging to the amount of about 28%. 28%? 28%. That's ridiculous. I know. So to fix that, I, I decided, okay, so we are about to embark on a revenue mobilization and a rev revenue protection campaign. So I said, we had a few meetings with National Security with a group of uh, 
people from Yellow Krobo and Mania Krobo combined, known as the United Krobo Foundation. Okay. Mind you, I was on the board at this point in time when these conversations started. So I was privy to a few meetings. So through all of that, their roadmap was designed. They said, you need to speak to this person. You need to do this. So there was, when I took over, we said, there's a rollout plan. There's a date for rollout. How are we going to roll this out? Then I remembered I needed numbers. Mm. Numbers then, ah, which set of people can give me electrical engineers in the shortest possible time? Mm -hmm. Ghana Armed Forces. They have a whole engineers regiment who are made up of electrical engineers. And I said, oh, let me co-opt their numbers to add to my numbers of mm -hmm. about 100. So we can complete this exercise in good time, restore power to, when I say not restore power, mm -hmm. they're already enjoying yeah. power. Give them the necessary power that they need, but it's prepaid now. Mm. So we needed to do a whole prepaid meter installation in the whole enclave. So we can now roll in so that now everybody can start paying their current bill from today. Because believe you me, if everybody pays their current bill from today, revenue for ACG is going to go up. Okay. So the exercise started. There were pockets of issues. What they, sort of issues? There was some resistance here and there. They went on demonstration, got to my building, threw stones into the glass building, messed up stuff. But you know, you understand that you can't take away a person's right to demonstrate. Mm. But my staff also felt, or uh, I've been told to say, our staff or ECG staff mm -hmm. felt safe and, uh, and uh, with the military protection to okay. work. Not to say anything derogatory about Ghana police. Mm. I just needed electrical engineers to help me. Mm. And those, that was the quickest way to mobilize the numbers. Okay. So in rolling out, we were, we were having these pockets of incidents, but we were still soldiering on. Out of 20,000, I think we had completed almost 6,000, close okay. to 6,000. So we were still soldiering on. We were okay. Then we got to a certain place. Oh, the distribution trucks, so we realized they were going to be a problem. So what did we then do? We just said, okay, if you guys don't want to take it, we'll disconnect you of the distribution mm -hmm. transformer and then move on. We connected the distribution transformer. We left. We come back. They have lights. <laughs> they reconnected. They reconnected themselves. <laughs> How did they do that? How? Oh, you see, everybody say, yeah, there might be somebody from your network that's helping them. I don't really want to think about it. Because I'm looking at the greater business of ECG right. and, and reducing the losses of the company. Then, I, it happens twice, then we go like, okay, now let's disconnect it from the high tension mm. so that they do not have the requisite power. Guess what? They, still... they reconnected to the high tension. What? Yes. They reconnected to the high tension. And then, that How means... How did they manage to I, do that? Nobody can still explain up till today. Now, now, this is a network that I own. When you start intruding on the network, it becomes a problem. Yeah. You know, electricity travels in a straight line. Mm -hmm. When you start moving things about like that, you create voltage problems that could start a fire in somebody's house or could destroy equipment or appliances and all of that. So one night when the, my team was going on uh, to walk the line to know what was happening with it, they go to this spot where we are disconnected on the high tension. They found I had connected. They were with a, uh, a few army officers. They got down to take a look. Then a mob appears and started pelting stones at them. If an army officer had shot for the fear of something, you and I would be having a different conversation. Oh, absolutely. Right now. And it would not be pretty. Yeah. It would be, it would be terrible. So after that happened, my staff said they didn't feel safe. The army felt that, look, this is not the right way mm -hmm. what they are doing they are resisting you so we have to beat a retreat and if i don't have the requisite people to man the lines and to do the necessary maintenance and all of that what do i do i have to kill the the, the, the feeder to that area so that's what made us take out their feet because as we speak ecg staff cannot work in the area because they don't feel safe they are not welcome we want to give you prepaid it's a difficulty mm. so we need to solve this problem. So, so how, how far have you gone with solving the problem? There have been a series of meetings. We've mm. stated our position on the matter. We keep, we keep stressing on the point that, look, if even for argument's sake, we say today, we are forgiving all the debt to July, we have to finish the exercise in August. Yeah. How do we finish the exercise in August? You understand what I mean? It's by allowing us to install this prepaid meter so we can meter and then we can we can actually think about the the debt and be able to quantify it. But 
it's, 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 the whole conversation is about how to go about it. Look, if even they say install the meters today, we are okay. I cannot install all in one day. It will take time. I how much time? It will take probably within the whole month. Okay. Or maybe about a month and a half. Okay. Because I'm supposed to reach over 20,000 customers. So as I'm going, they can go ahead of me and also be, what do you call it? Be speaking to or sensitizing which groups of people <laughs> who are the pocket areas that are causing the problem. <laughs> so I can, I can be working my way towards them. It's just about getting to a consensus because what we have now, if we don't nip this problem in the bud now, next week we'll have this conversation. Next two weeks we'll have this conversation. Next year, same time, okay. by popular demand, we'll be here. Right. So you are not turning them on until... You have installed the prepaid meter? No. Okay. That's not what I'm saying. I'm mm -hmm. saying I will I want to turn them on. Mm -hmm. Don't let's let's correct one notion. Okay. I'm not for a second happy that they about off. what's going on. Okay. No. Because I understand what it means. Mm. My my issue is this. Even now, I cannot just energize the line. I have to walk the line, check the transformers. Because information reaching me is that sand has been dumped in there, some of the transformers which runs with oil, which means it's not going to work. There are videos around of, of them cutting down my power lines. And to, as a sign of good faith, those power lines I've reinstalled and they are up just waiting for the, the whole conversation to move forward. And I need to walk the line, make sure it's okay, make sure everything is ready before I put, I put power into it. But all I'm saying is, my staff need to be able to walk they these lines. They need to feel safe, right. They need to walk the line, right. check the transformers, and who's going to protect them? Right now, they feel safe under the Ghana Armed Forces. We've not had the best of relationships in that area. Oh, I don't know if you have a good relationship with any Ghanaian. ECG. Oh, I think now these days we are doing well. <laughs> really? We are doing very, very well, extremely well. I, 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 like, I like your customer service <laughs> personnel, though. They are very patient, yeah. well trained. Yeah, anyway. our, our, our phone, our phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, there were calls from health institutions to um, provide them with power yeah. because those are critical areas, the essential service providers. <laughs> What was the solution to that problem? So conversations are far advanced to mm -hmm. see how I can resource them with some diesel for their generators and all of that. Okay. But you see, they are buying diesel now. Now they can feel what I am feeling. That's, that's the thing that we need to change in our culture, in the way we talk. Let's not feel like, as a matter of fact, mm. it's a, it's, ECG is not a social service. We are incurring debt. It's affecting us. How much debt? Let's not go there now. Oh, is Let's it? not go there oh, now. What? Today, the debt, which side are you asking about the debt? Is it <laughs> at power producers level or you're asking at um, suppliers level of... Uh, let's not go there now. The is it that bad? It's, it's manageable. I'll not say it's that bad. It's not, it's not that bad. It's mm. manageable. But everybody needs to start paying our bills and we need to stop the illegality. Why are people refusing to pay their bills? Have you managed to figure that out? Yes, I just think my darling Ghanaians with all due respect, do not prioritize the payment of electricity bill. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people have Maybe a Maybe we all need sensitization. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I, think, I think there's a warped idea of, some people even feel like it's a way of getting back at government because government is not doing well, so electricity, if I use it free, then what? So this whole, these illegal connections and all of these things, honestly, we just don't prioritize. What, what percentage of Ghanaians are connecting power illegally? Would you know? Wow, mm -hmm. that would be tough. That mm -hmm. would be tough because we would know that very soon okay. because now we have regional boundary metering. Okay. So we know how much power we are putting in every region. Mm. So they are going to have a proper energy accounting and audit, which would let us know, wow, Tema, we gave you X amount of power. Mm. You only accounted for X amount. Why? Mm. And then now we are further going to go down to meter all the distribution transformers. So now we'll know on this distribution transformer, we have 50 homes. The transformer is reading X amount. Uh, all the meters in this area, what are you reading? Mm. If it doesn't add up, we have to check. Mm. So the conversation is about to change and it's going to change very fast. All I'll just plead is that, look, it's just time for us to do the right thing. Mm. Let's become responsible citizens of the Republic of Ghana and let's do right by the country. It's, t it's time for us to stand up and get counted. Okay.
And so what is your plan to get people to pay for the electricity they use, use. every month yes. or every week, every whether week. they're using prepaid pay, or postpaid? Just pay your current bills moving forward and my revenue will shoot up. Mm. You paying your current bills means that I'm going to see a spike in revenue and I'll be able to settle all my debts in my value chain. And that's what I'm looking for. Uh, all right. Now, so, uh, you know, I'll move away from Krobo, with the Krobo land very soon. It's a very interesting <laughs> <laughs> area. So, so, so you're still talking to them. Yes. And we are waiting for the two parties, ECG and the Krobo people, to, to reach a consensus. Yeah, you see, one do of you the see things, any end, one end of the in things sight? I would love for us to do mm. is not to say the Krobo people or the Krobo or the Krobo. It, it has this ethnicity connotation. Okay, to so it. what should we say? Let's just call them ECG customers in Maja Krobo and you know Krobo. <laughs> okay. It makes it makes it makes it it makes it better and but exciting. So, but 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 Krobo land. <laughs> so it's such a beautiful I wish I wish I was living well uh, if the electricity returns out I'll, I'll move there. But Krobo land, it's so nice. So 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 conversations are far advanced. Okay. Uh, and so few, soon Yeah, soon soon we should have. reach an agreement. Mm. Yeah, but as to it will all depend on how the conversations have go. you had some people admitting that yes we have been in the wrong and we think the right thing should be done yes yes okay yes, although yes. they have just a firm stance that no 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 okay. no no no, no. There, there, there are a few people quite a number of people look there are certain there are a group of people that have taken the prepaid meters already okay there are certain people um that are, are going through hardship because they're like i took the prepaid so why are my lights off right you see that's what brought so up they are the, conversation. the price that's what brought up the conversation of is electricity being a privilege and not, and not for that, right. I agree with you. It is not a privilege. I mean, it is not um, a, right. a right. Yeah, it is. A it, it is not a right. It, it's it, it's not you. I mean, if we if we were right, I mean, when I receive my electricity bills, <laughs> <laughs> I, I weep. <laughs> I always think about weep, not child. <laughs> anyway, so it's definitely not a right. I mean, you need to pay for it. Yeah, you have to yeah. pay for it. The moment you start paying, it becomes a right. Yeah. Now you can push me. You can kick me out you want, but. You, you, you can't come to the table and tell me, I want my light. You want mm. my light? What are you giving me in return? Yeah. There should be something. Okay. So. All right. Now let's move away from uh, EC, Krobo. Uh, the ECG customers in Manya Krobo. <laughs> and lower, and like, Krobo. And, uh, Manya and Yilo and Lower Krobo, right? Yeah. Let's move away from there. There are also people who complain incessantly on social media that they walk into, for instance, an ECG service center. And genuinely, they've come there to pay bills. And the, the kind of posture your staff wield is so annoying that it discourages them from paying their bills. You go there, you have a problem, and it takes forever for your problems to be addressed. Has this come to your attention? Some of it have come to my attention, but you know, in all of this, that doesn't give you an excuse for not paying your bills. Ah, but if I'm bringing you money and you're not ready ah, to take it, why says, would I who bother? Who says I'm not ready? Maybe, maybe, maybe because you're standing in a queue, it's not moving faster. You know... We gonna we want to move things faster. Ah, but if you are staying in a queue but for you know, two hours to so, pay so, like so, bill, so, so <laughs> conversations no, are far advanced to, okay. to to change things up in our customer service directory. Okay. Uh, they have come up with a few things. We are coming up with a premium service. Okay. Oh, premium. We're coming, yeah, we are coming up with mm. a lot of dynamic stuff that's going to make us move faster. We are coming. We are redoing the app, the ECG app. We are redoing mm. the website, so you, there will be chat boxes that we can move faster. Uh, again, I'll use this your medium to speak to the people of Kwabenya to be patient with my staff and allow them the details they are looking for. Because well, what's the problem there? I'm trying to build my customer database okay. so that I can serve you better. Because gone are the days where you call me and then where, where are you located? Uh, the Lotto kiosk here or the, 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 <laughs> plantain, the seller. Plantain, seller. plantain seller. So what, what we need to do now is we want to use your GPS postcode that has been given to you we want to use your Ghana card. We also want to use your phone numbers, landlord, tenants, so that we can avoid issues of this person used to live here, he left and he racked a bill. If you're going somewhere else, we should be able to. Yeah. So we need to try and streamline some of these little things for landlords and all of mm. that. So that they are, So we need to have a proper database of our customers, know your customer drive that we are embarking on in Kwabinya. And I'll plead with them not to be too harsh on my people and allow them and give them the information they need and also the Ghana cards. All right. Ghana card. <laughs> <laughs> Ghana card. Is the is the is the new word. <laughs> <laughs> you need you need a Ghana card at all costs. I think it's it's, it's a good thing and it's gonna help us. Okay. We need to start embracing it yeah. for what it's worth. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now <clears throat>
I said I was moving away from Congo, and I am doing that now because we also talked about the debt. Uh, we also talked about illegal connection. Illegal yeah. connection is simply power theft. So if you're doing illegal connections, don't think that you're clean. You're stealing. You're stealing power. Uh, that is what you. We you are, are about doing. to start prosecution soon, eh? Yeah. Yeah. The the power, the utility court is ready. It starts sitting on Saturdays now. As I told you, we started the meter audit just one week. We had over one thousand. Uh, illegalities de uh, detected. Mm. We ask you to come to our office in 48 hours. We run the surcharge you pay. If you don't pay or you're being recalcitrant, you just go straight to power court with the charge of stealing. Simple. That would be so embarrassing. I know. Because at some point, we also have to name and shame. Because we need to change our own story. Well, it's been happening. You've been doing that with uh, a lot of companies as well. Yeah. Not those stealing power, but those refusing to pay. Exactly. Um, uh, there have been a few examples. Wound <laughs> to Me Radio was in the news recently <laughs> for racking up the bill and not paying. I think that has been solved. That has been solved. They've come, they've come Did he call you bill. personally? He, he, we had a chat, but he still paid. He, he still did. Paid. He, yeah, paid. he paid. Yeah. He paid. He paid. Yeah. Some say you're very firm. Yeah. You smile a lot, but yeah. you're, you're hardcore. I am fair and firm. That's mm. what I would say. I, okay. I have a mandate to mm. execute. I mm. think in doing that, everybody needs to appreciate the fact that, look, mm. I will step on toes. Mm. I cannot... I, I use this statement somewhere. I said, to be a leader, you'd have to step on toes. Absolutely. You cannot please everybody. If I mm. wanted to please everybody, I would sell ice cream or <laughs> jollof for or watches or something. And even with that one, they'll say today is salty. Salty, today exactly. This, the, the tomatoes <laughs> were not enough. So it's... Yeah. it's it's a dynamic that yeah. I would have to tread cautiously yeah. so that at least everybody, I carry everybody along. Okay. I was having a discussion with a, a, group of, uh, a group of directors and I was telling them, I stand for the present and the future of the company. I don't stand for the past of the company. We need to turn our story around because right. there's nobody coming to save us. Mm -hmm. we, we own our own destiny. If we're able to reduce those losses, that's more money for the company and that is that will be beneficial for us in how we, we mm. run the company okay how about some of your personnel who are constantly accused of helping customers to steal power see i would not blame my personnel so much so that i would blame the people who enticed my 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 personnel why won't you blame them but for being the, enticed how it, can you allow yourself but, but, to but the thing is the man is executing a job mm -hmm. he came there you know that what you're doing is bad Instead of telling him, okay, do it and say charge and spread it over a period of time, you go into whatever with the person and then you entice him with So money. he lacks integrity so, to agree. So, so now the onus is on you to report him to me that I have a, an employee who lacks integrity. But, but, how, but can I, how can I report when I'm enjoying the service for free? <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it's a two-way street. Mm -hmm. we, 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 that's why I keep saying we need to stand up and get counted now. Mm -hmm. There are certain attitudes that we've allowed to go on for right. long. What are we teaching the younger generation that are coming up? Let's agree that moving forward, we need to do right by Ghana. Mm. We need to pay for the power we've consumed so that the sector can grow. Mm -hmm. Other than that, the sector will keep racking debts and debts and debts. There's like you, you want to move from Krobo, but right now we can't move because debt right now is exceeding 200 million. 200 million? Ghana cities, yeah. Wow. Who's going to pay? I was going to ask you that question. Yeah, so I have to find a way Hippic. To... <laughs> <laughs> All we can do is try. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a short break. I'm talking to the ECG boss. We'll come back and talk more about him, where he was born, where he grew up, why he chose to wear ropes, and um, now he finds himself in the energy sector. A bit more about him, his personal life. We'll be right back with Star Chat on GH1 TV, Star FM, Ultimate FM, and Empire FM. We'll be right back. Honey, what's wrong? No one chicken like soup, hot and spicy. Honey, the baby wants some small beef jollof and the kids. Food is ready. 
Sou topa. Mau red card. Onga for every meal. Introducing the new Onga stew tablet and Onga beef tablet. Onga, mama's helping hand. This advert is FDA approved. Nivea Natural Fairness is now Nivea Perfect and Radiant. Reveal your skin's natural radiance with Nivea Perfect and Radiant. Enriched with berry extracts and UV filters. To reduce dark spots and even out your skin tone. For radiant and even toned skin. Say hello again to Nivea Perfect and Radiant Body Lotion. Try the full Nivea Perfect and Radiant range to unlock your most radiant self. There are many ways to get around, but there's only one way to pay. Momo? Sure. So many styles to choose, but there's only one sure way to pay. Momo? Yes. There's so many you can buy, but there's only one sure way to pay. Momo? Yes. There's so much variety, but there's only one sure way to pay. There's so many ways to get together, but there's only one sure way to pay. Got a payment to make? Use MTN Momo and enjoy real convenience in all your financial transactions. Live life the brighter way with MTN Momo. Just Momo it. MTN. Welcome back to Star Chart and with me in the studio is the Managing Director for ECG. We've been talking about a wide range of issues. Now we're moving into something else, completely different from ECG. To talk about the power in him, <laughs> where were you born? Uh, I was born in uh, Nigeria. Oh really? Yeah. How many years ago, uh, if you don't that's, mind? That's 39 years ago. Oh, you're, you're less than 40. Yes, I am. You're a baby. Thank you. <laughs> right. When do you turn 40? Uh, next year. Oh. Next year, May. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you've you. achieved a lot. I, all, all thanks to God. Yeah. All I, thanks to God. I, I cannot say I achieved all by my, my strength. Right. Yeah, he gave me the ability. I tried. I did my best. I mm. prayed to him for the help yeah. I need. Are you a religious person? I was born into a religious home. So yeah? I grew up. A, my, my, my late mom was a reverend. In really? Assemblies of God, yeah. Okay. And your dad? My dad, my dad is religious too. He goes to Assemblies of God too. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay. We, 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 are, we, are, we are a very religious family. My younger brother is a, he's, a, he's an ordained pastor in Assemblies of God and a lawyer. Uh, yeah, I have, I have a very religious family. Okay. How many siblings do you have? We are five in total, three girls and two boys. Oh, are you the oldest? No, I'm the last but one, actually. There were three girls before I came and then my brother. Okay, so your, your mom was looking for a boy. I know, I know. I'm like, I'm like yeah. She... <laughs> <laughs> and then when you came, she still tried for another one. Yeah, yeah, then she got her second boy, and then I think she was just she, happy. She and decided that was, that was it. That's it, that's yeah. it. I have my five-month yeah. team. It's okay. Uh, when did you lose your mom? Uh, I was at the height of COVID on the 19th of April at about... 5 p.m. Oh, 5:45 p.m. Yeah, in 2020, it was it was one of the biggest. It was the, that was one of the hardest things to for anybody. I know I, these things you can't really explain. Yeah, it's a very very dark side of. Did you lose her to COVID? No, actually, I lost I lost her to um, what do you call it? Um, uh, blood clots, pulmonary embolism. Oh. That that developed, and uh, we rushed her to the hospital. She was there for us. So it happened on Good Friday. 
And we rushed her to the hospital. She was there for about almost a week or so. And then she was, she died in 19. She was two days shy of her 66th birthday. Oh. And she passed. Oh. And yeah. at the height of COVID, you really couldn't Mingle, say goodbye. No. So we had one of those COVID funerals. How was it? It was very, very sober and, and painful. I don't know. But you know, you don't really realize it at that point because you, you are so, you have to take charge and run point on issues because you are the son. Mm -hmm. And so you don't really have time to mourn. But in your, when, when the curtain goes mm -hmm. down and everybody in the, in the evening when you are left alone in your bed and then you lie down, that's where you ask yourself, why? Wow, why? Mm -hmm. And also for the fact that the Sunday that it happened, I was the one who was there and saw what went on and that was a very difficult period for me it took it took it took its toll on me but thanks to god i can say i'm, I'm how much, did your much... father take it oh he didn't take it well he didn't take it well at all that was his wife and girlfriend for over 40 something years i think i used to always see that man as a superhero until i saw him cry that day because i was the one who when they were performing cpr and stuff mm to try to resuscitate her, I saw what was going on. And they didn't really tell me she had passed, but they wanted me to go see the doctor. So I had called him and said, oh, she's not really, so they are doing some first. So he was on his way. I spoke to the doctor, and believe you me, up till today, I can picture myself sitting across the table from the doctor. But I do not remember all he said, his statement. All I remember is we lost mommy at... And then gave me the time, time. seventeen forty-five. Yeah, and so that's the only thing I remember. I walk out. My dad is walking in. And he sees me and just breaks down into tears because he knew. He knew. I think my face gave something away. Yeah. Something. He just. That was that was a very dark moment. Yeah, but, I'm so sorry. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Some people say it's the only democracy in this life. Sure. It, the it's pain inevitable. will never go away. Yeah, it you never need goes to learn away. to manage it and move yeah. on in this life. But, and again, I do admit sometimes that I'm, I'm a mummy's boy. So. You look it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> No, I can't deny that. <laughs> <laughs> right. And your, your siblings? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they were in the same they were, situation they were everybody, as you, especially for the girls. Yeah. Everybody was distraught. Uh, yeah. My elder sisters were not, two of my elder sisters were not in town. So mm -hmm. when they heard it, you can imagine, they can't travel. Yeah. So now their mother's funeral happens without them. They will join via Zoom. Yeah. That's the most painful Full way funeral, to say yeah. goodbye. Yeah. So it was me, my elder sister, Joyce, the one who comes right before me, and then my, my younger brother, Emmanuel, who, and my dad, who just, we just were like, you know what, let's, yeah. just, let's just get this... So your kid, your kid brother is a lawyer too? Yeah, he's a lawyer. What, does it run in the family? So my, my elder sister, the second born, Rachel, is also a lawyer. So my dad has actually given the Bar Association three lawyers. Three lawyers. Yeah. Why? Why Why law? Why did the three of you opt for law? So for me, I always wanted to be a pilot. And what happened? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was expecting you to say, I always wanted to be a lawyer. And then no, pilot no, no, came no. out. My dad happened. My okay. dad happened. He said... Um, he, uh, actually, he checked out how much it was going to cost to uh, make me a professional pilot, and he's just like, "Look, my son." And he said, "He woke me up one early morning. I had this, this very like melancholic child. Yeah. He like says, you know, you're not my only child. If I'm going to spend this amount of money on you to just learn how to fly a plane, I, I'll deprive your other siblings. Also, know that the jobs. He said it in cheek." So that was what killed my my flight of mission. All right. Yeah, so you gave up on me. it. Yeah, but he, he advised me properly concerning mm. the law. You can do it and be whoever you want to mm -hmm. be. And, and look which at me now. Which is true. Yeah. yeah, which is true. Look at me now. I have. I honestly, I don't have any regrets. Until the point of uh, or, or the point where she left you. Yeah. How did your mom feel about your she was success my, at that? My biggest fan. Mm. I had I had one of the women who, who she, my mom was that kind of person who was there was never a dull moment around her. Right. She was fun loving. She always was cracking a joke. She had she had something. She's those kind of person that if I don't call her in a day or two, she's going to call her and ask you what's up. And she starts it with an insult. <laughs> 
<laughs> What's her favorite? Uh, Ade Utinio. <laughs> <laughs> Who names her also Right. You know, like it's it's, it's it, there was never a dull moment with her. It was she was she she was my biggest fan. Right. And she was my biggest fan, and yeah. I would miss her every single time. When I got my appointment, my my mind went to calling her, only to realize that she's nah, she's there. not there. So. Yeah. It's, but I'm it's, sure she's somewhere smiling. Oh, yeah, down. yeah. That, uh, that I do believe. Yeah. That I do believe. Okay, that so I you believe. were born in Nigeria. Yeah. All your siblings? No, no, or no. Just no only you? Me. Only oh, me. wow. Uh, and how long were you in Nigeria for? I think my dad had gone there to lecture at the University of Port Harcourt. Okay. And so he was a lecturer in petroleum over there. And, uh, ah. So I think. Lecturer you know, in the, petroleum? Yeah. Okay. The greener pastures thing. Right. And then uh, it hap so happened that when I was born, that was the year we returned back to Ghana. So. Oh, so you, you didn't even nah, 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 spend nah, more than all, a year all, in all. Nigeria? So I don't, I don't even identify as. But you have Nigerian friends? Uh, no, I don't remember anything. Um, yeah, right. I mean, as you were growing up, you met yeah, some Nigerians. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah, I'm, I say I'm sure because, I'm, in truth, I don't remember anything. But <laughs> right. I, I believe I was still a baby. So, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And so you schooled in Accra? Yeah, I schooled in Accra. Primary Ghana. Yeah. where? So I went to nursery school at uh, St. Giral's Nursery. Oh, in you Awudome. remember your nursery school? Yes. That's nice. Uh -huh. In Awudome. Yeah. I went to St. Teresa's School. Okay. From St. Teresa's to Achimoto School. From Achimoto School to Legon. Legon, I did first my first degree in uh, political science and sociology. Mm. Mm. And then I did my second first degree again in the LLB. And then I went to, as they say, the professional course. Mm -hmm. That was the time where the professional course I was started in. Uh, we were doing different campuses. So I stayed in the Legon campus mm -hmm. again. And then I was called to the bar in 2013, October 2013. Congratulations. Thank you. And um, Achimoto School, you remember your school anthem? Can you sing for it? Which one of them? Uh, how City many the Outlaws Hill or how many Gamba, do you have? from Gambaga to Accra, which is the <laughs> which is the most common one? Okay, that, so that one then. Oh yeah, I do, I do, I do remember a few words. Can you that, sing it? Oh, why are you putting me on the spot? <laughs> why are you doing this? <laughs> how did you feel when that Rastafarian issue came up? <clears throat> I just felt, you know, at certain points in everybody's life, they need to be given an identity. Uh, in as much as I was brought up in a religious home, my parents still allowed me to explore or go to school. Mm. The beautiful thing about Achimoto School is there are different sects of, uh, what do you call it, religions, religious mm. beliefs. Mm. There's the Protestant church service, there's the Catholic church service, there's the Anglican, and then the Muslims also have their, mm. their own things on Friday. So, hair would also grow back. I mm -hmm. know, but mm -hmm. I don't really want to have an opinion about this because I just felt he should have been given an opportunity to 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 go to the school but in the manner which it it panned out it wasn't really necessary i just feel like you know the dad should have also allowed the boy to have an identity of his own yeah. let him go to the school if he if he takes it off and he decides that maybe this is not for me i want to be muslim you know boarding school teaches you a lot of things <laughs> in school, this, yeah. i saw different different classmates till i even finished because it's a huge school there's the east and the west compound. Mm -hmm. So every day they are seeing, yeah. you are seeing new faces. It's, it's, it, and you're in the boarding house. It teaches you how to be tolerant and all of that. So I think uh, the dad shouldn't have gone all entrenched about it. We should have just find, found a way to yeah. understand that this is the school that your child wants to go. If you want to obey the rules to go to the school, obey the rules and go to the school. Why the fuss? All right. So for yeah. me, I just felt... How did the school shape you? If you had to choose again, would you mm -hmm. still choose Achimoto School? Uh, yeah, I will. Okay. I will. I will do it over. Some of the friends I've made at that place is just, it's just remarkable. Yeah. Some of the experiences I have, I think I cannot deviate from. So yeah, the school had a great impact on me. Not to say I was the, I was the model student. No. Oh, you were? Uh, I was not the model student. What I had, kind of student I had, were you? I had you? my down moments. <laughs> <laughs> how how many down dark, moments? I had my dark and down moments. Uh, I got punished for them. Were then, you ever suspended? Uh, internally. I did internally. <laughs> so I was put do? to manual labor. <laughs> what did you do? you remember exactly what you did? Can we not talk about that? Oh, because yeah, some of them I mean, are so yes, embarrassing, you know? What, what did you do? Oh. You went out without an exit? Um, yeah, I went, I, went, I went to the Western compound one evening because a senior had sent me Are you to sure you were not something. going to look for a girl? No, no, no. I was actually going to look for a girl on behalf of my senior because he had sent me <laughs> to go <laughs> give her something. It was around Valentine's Day. Oh, so. right. And it was after 6 or 7 p.m. and I got into trouble. So I was, I was asked to go through internal suspension. 
Yeah. So I, had, I didn't go to school for about five days, and I was just, I was just working. Were on your parents compound. aware of this? No. They never found no. out. If your father's watching, I'm sure. But he, uh, he knows. <laughs> but I turned out okay. So what's his problem? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was that the only time you were suspended? Uh, yeah, I think so. I believe so. The rest were all sure? punishments within the house. Okay. Like go and do this because this is what you did. There's roll call. You cannot be found. You know. Mm -hmm. But because it didn't, it didn't go all the way to house master level and all of that. Right. You're punished by your seniors. Yeah, yeah. Within the within the house. Yeah. Sleep under my bed. Kneel down till yeah. two a.m. You know. So you did from one. Two and three. Two or and three, that. and then that 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 was it. How, what do you feel about the new system, the SHS? as opposed to their old system i think i think you know education has evolved mm -hmm. ghana has its peculiar situations and all of that if you ask me to look at it in light of toughness mm -hmm. i think right now they are not they are not tough yeah the new uh, SHS crop of students, they are not tough. Mm -hmm. They even have phone booths in the school, in the yeah. they, they can call. Times have changed. Wow, we, the phone booth was at either the hospital <laughs> or at the gate. They don't just have phone booths, they have phones. They yeah. have mobile phones. Now, I, I got there the other time, they have ceiling fans. I'm like, ah, <laughs> I have water dispensers. Ah, yeah. <laughs> we didn't have all of those things. Yeah, you know? times have changed. I know, I know. Yeah, I now, know. no more, no one goes to school these days with. But, Chubbucks and a trunk. No, 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 no. It's, yeah. I think it's a little classy now, you yeah. know, like a suitcase. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. We've come a long way. But we, you carry your chubbucks and your trunk, you know, yeah. and you go. Yeah. That was the pride. Yeah. yeah like, you mentioned that your father was a lecturer. Yeah. In Petroleum. Yeah. Is that where your interest in energy came from? You can say that, but it didn't really impact me that much. Okay. I, I made my own way. My dad, my dad is, a, he, he was teaching he, he, my dad taught from Boko Secondary School. He taught in Prempe College. Then he. So did why did you go to Prempe College? My younger brother did. Okay. Yeah, my younger yeah. brother did, All and right. then uh, then he he has a his his masters and stuff in planning and all of that so through that he found his way to doing his lecturing gig mm. and all of that so for me we he and i come to think of it we've not really had a conversation about petroleum sector and all of those things really? but, yeah. he has no thoughts because the man by the time he was whipping me in line it was all about law 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 <laughs> law so when he got me in that shape and in that this thing he was like oh well yeah so you know it normally gives that exciting conversation Mm. And when you are sitting with your dad and you guys are having a very intellectual yeah. chat, it's, it's, it's really fun. Yeah. Really do, you, fun. do you have the chat over a drink or two? He says he stopped drinking. He stopped drinking for a very long time. He says he has time. stopped. Do he you says, believe he has stopped? Yeah, I believe because I see in his attitude that he stopped drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so it's more of once in a while wine glass yeah, or something. But, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. You, do you indulge? I do. Yeah? I What's do. your favorite? <laughs> Some a very good single malt whiskey would be nice. Ah. Yeah. No preferences. No, you don't now. have a preference. I, I'll keep that to myself. Before before by the time I get to the office, the bottles will be sitting on the table. Well, you you are you're afraid they'll bring you some bottles from Krobo. <laughs> 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 take take a, a bottle of Lakavoli yeah. and give us power. <laughs> anyway, so um, your father has has he got any thoughts on your work now as the MD of? ECG? Yeah, he actually, he's actually had a few words for me when the yeah. appointment thing happened. He just said to me that, look. Were you surprised? I was, I was. When you got a call? I, I was, because it was a regular Friday. I was done with work. I drove home. I was just going to relax and then probably hit the town later on mm. or just, just, so I, I was confused that day. So I was just lying in my bed where I was chatting on the phone with my elder sister. Okay. So she was chatting, she was chatting away. Then a number kept on calling me. I kept on cutting it. Mm. So after talking to her, I even forgot. I was like, oh, let me call this number. I call, I call. She's like, hi, I'm blah, blah, blah from the office of the president. I'd like to see you. And, uh, so we fixed the time for five. I said, can you tell me what's about? She just, she just says, please just show up. Show up. Mm. So I got there and I went to the office. Then they told me that. This is the plan. Uh, they feel I need to take a look at it and be the right man and then do the right thing. Uh, they were had cabinet meeting that day, so it was a, everybody was quite tired. So the uh, president asked that I see him on Monday right. after everything was done. And after that I saw him on Monday, we had a very good conversation. And I'll be honest with you, he has been very supportive.
my board mm -hmm. has been very supportive. The staff of ECG have been very supportive. Yeah. And, and, and it's showing in our work now. So there's this, there's this perfect and seeming understanding of what we need to do and where we want to get to. Mm. And, and you don't experience it. any, you're a small boy, you just came here. I had one this evening. You are a small boy from uh, <laughs> a customs boss to the special prosecutor. prosecutor. Uh, yeah, small is boy. He, is yeah. he but small do you get that attitude there? Yeah. That, yeah there. See. I, I, I do my best to ignore all of those things because it's not about the small boy in there or his young. It's about the wisdom you're carrying. It's about what you see and how you want to execute it. Mm. If, if you want us to, to, to go by small boy, does it mean that small boys do not have brains? Or is it that because the person is great, the person has a lot of sense? <laughs> I have a very, a very, very cunning father. When I say cunning, I say it because he has jokes. I go like, do not see everybody who is old and think that they are smart. Right. There are a few people that were foolish when they were growing up, and they are still foolish in their <laughs> old age. So, That's so, true. So, so when, you're, when you say small boy, in what context? Are we identifying the issues? If you identify, are we solving it? Are we bringing up the solutions? What is your, what is your contribution? I would really love to listen to why, what led to the special prosecutor being called that. But, I, yeah. I have, yeah. but you haven't experienced any of that at East. That, as I said, I turn a blind eye to it right. because I try very hard to stick to the issues because I am there for a purpose. Mm. And there's, there's something that needs to change and needs to change fast. So however you see me, I'll do my best to carry you along. At some point, if I have to drop you as dead weight, I have to drop you mm. because the company ECG is bigger than any individual right and the survival of ecg is key okay so. I, I i understand your father is a is co quite a mammoth figure in the npp <laughs> mammoth oh yes. wow he would be excited to hear that <laughs> <laughs> is he yeah he's uh, he's the regional lands commission chairman for northern region okay uh he, he he's, he's he's had his roles in the party he served very well. He's, 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 uh, yeah, you can call him that. You can call him that. But mm. kudos to him. In where he loves something, he puts his everything into it to his own detriment, I would say. Yeah. So if you, if you had to ask me to point out a very selfless person, because I'm mommy's boy, I say mommy first, then daddy second. Yeah? Yeah. But Your mom is more selfless. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. My mom, my mom will go all the way. But my dad is selfless too. Look, my dad, through my dad, so at one point when I was going to university, my, there was a guy who I was supposed to go do registration with. His mm -hmm. name was Martin. Martin was a blind guy who found his way to my dad for my dad to help him to go to uni. So Martin and I went to school together, did our registration and all of that. We went to school. We all finished first degree. And one day we were home and Martin, the blind guy, brought a goat to come and say thank you to my dad. After so many years. Yeah. So my dad said, now if he dies, he's fine because even a blind man can see the good he has done. So for yeah. him, that's, that was the touching moment for him. He's, he's that selfless. He would go over and beyond for anybody mm. who he feels needs okay. the help from him. Okay. Yeah. So will you join mainstream politics? <sighs> will I? Mm. That's a very big question. It depends on where I find myself. Okay, well you find yourself at ECG now. Yeah. <laughs> but right now, I'm there for a task. So I right. just want to concentrate on that and get done with it. Mm. So it's, uh, everything in this life I see as a calling. Mm. I wouldn't have ever thought I'll be sitting as ECG MD, mm. but here I find myself yeah. and I'm executing it. When the time is right and that is what it's supposed to be, I'm sure. You'll figure it I'll out. I'll figure it out by then. All right. Now, <clears throat> I'm still staying on the NPP. What do you make of your party now? There was a research by, there was an Afrobarometer Afro yeah. uh, that rated the NPP as one of the least trusted institutions in Ghana now. Okay. Yeah. Well, you see, everything has, has, a, has a lens that you want to look through. Mm. You understand? You can choose to look at things with a political lens, or you can choose to look at it in terms of everything that is happening globally mm. or whatever. I'm not going to go into economical matters, but I'm going to say... MVP coming out of their Congress now, all the only thing they can be now is to become strong. They have their issues, like every political party. Mm. They need to put their act together, have their communications right, and then start talking. I think all of those things are now being done because they just came out of the election. 
I think they voted out they voted out the right people that they wanted to vote into office mm. to to take up the mantle so let's for me i believe in allowing the party to speak the party has spoken so let's see how it, it rolls out and let's see but for us to say the least trusted mm. i'll have to ask in what context well oh, that, oh, that, there you are there you are trust in institutions in ghana 2022 Mm -hmm. uh, Ghana Armed Forces, 35%. Religious leaders, 20%. Traditional leaders, 17%. Court, 10%. Electoral Commission, 10 President, 14 Opposition political party, 7%. Police, uh -huh. 7 The Parliament, president eight. scored 14 Yes. That's good. He's least trusted. So this is a list of the least trusted institutions in Ghana. Least? Yeah. But why... why? Okay, you live in... Well, well... well uh, well, so it's not least. He's up there. So you did yeah. get 18%, 14% there. And then police, 7%. Parliament, 8 Ghana Revenue <laughs> Authority, 5 Assembly Man or Woman, 5 MMDCs, 5 New Patriotic Party is there. I'm surprised the media didn't feature. <laughs> <laughs> I think the media I, would have stopped I nearly, I nearly, I nearly <laughs> asked, but I'm like, okay, I'm in a media house. Let me just yeah. keep quiet. <laughs> they, uh, they should have featured the media. It would have been interesting to know. Because between political parties and the media, yeah. I struggle myself to choose who to believe more. But I think, I think, <laughs> I think it's Mike, Mike Tyson that said, you always have a plan when you get into a ring until you are knocked in the nose. <laughs> and then you have to readjust. So, so yeah. So, yeah, please. So, yeah. Well, I, I, mean, I need to know the context. <laughs> when you talk about trust, there are different, different segments that build do up trust. Do you feel? I mean, you drive I around. Think the, I, think, I think the party is doing well. No, no. Do you think yeah. Ghanaians are pleased with their party, with the NPP? Yes. You think? Yes, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You're making me laugh and people think that I'm not I'm not serious about it. No, I'm not making I'm very you laugh. serious. Yeah? I believe I believe I believe yeah. people are happy with the yeah, N people NPP. Are, yes. They are happy with this administration. Yes. Really? Yes. You, you said people are yes, people are happy. Some people. Ah. Now you're changing it to some. <laughs> Make a sign. Do you think majority of Ghanaians are pleased with I the, believe with the major, NPP majority of power. Ghanaians. I believe majority of Ghanaians. Now you're being disingenuous. No, I'm not. Because mm. when you talk about majority, mm. it depends on where you're standing. Okay. And, and who you're speaking to. Mm. And the kind of people you come in, you mm. interact with. But I think if you ask me, are, are they taking the right decisions? Are they taking the right steps? Yes. And what makes me realize that that's the case is whenever you take a right step, mm -hmm. you have you have pushback. Of, of course. Mm -hmm. Like like this crop situation mm -hmm. that we are in. If 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 you're taking the right steps or you're doing the right things, people push back. Mm -hmm. And the moment they start pushing back, it makes you unpopular. Mm -hmm. But there's it get, it's gotten to the point where we need to stand up and be counted. You have to make certain bold decisions that is going to take the taste out of your mouth. Right. So, so which bold decisions, for instance? Inflation now is at 31.7%. That we import too much. Yeah. That one is whose fault? It's the government. Well, if well the, if, if, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it will take, of course, it will take government to reduce that, to stop that. At some point, somebody must pull See, the that, brakes. Your, some... your, you, right now, if we go to your house right now, mm. we look, mm -hmm. we look mm -hmm. how many things are imported that allow for your comfort will you compromise if i had an option Wh which to, is if i had an option if people don't even want to eat brown rice oh no people are consuming local rice now, now oh yeah. yeah from adidome from now there are a lot yeah, of so, Ghanian, so, so, so um, i think look i think our biggest system. our biggest problem as a nation is mindset mm -hmm. until we fix this whole mindset situation mm -hmm. we would have a difficult but someone must take the bull by the horn yes. someone must lead so that that's the reason we vote that you lead you, you see, there's, 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 there should be policies see, that's to a, check I, these I, things no i read the snp report mm -hmm. about downgrading guys. yes how you do you feel about it I feel Weren't you bit, embarrassed? It's, no, it's a bit disingenuous. How? And I Why? think everybody, we need to, we, know, we should not look at it from a political lens. Mm. If for once the, both political parties will stop, take a breath, and read the document for what it's worth, we will all realize that, no, what's going on? You come, you have a meeting with, the, with, with me. I oh, they came the to idea. your office? Yes. Okay. I spoke to you about what was going on, how we plan to solve them, the timelines and everything. You go back, you write a whole report saying that you see that the plans being advanced and all of that are good. Then go that, but it's not Ghana's fault, but it's because of external circumstances. What does that mean? You are, 
right now they say that we Ghanaians we talk about everything we say is the problem of COVID-19 and, you, and Russia, Russia and Ukraine. Ukraine but if you take the S&P report those are the two things they used but that's what we, we, we hear every day from yeah. government communicators no, but if, if the, Russia, international, the international community are using that what is our excuse mm. you know and, and the thing is we, we find ourselves in a, in a world where it's been dictated to us no matter what we do, it's being dictated to us. Because we have allowed it, no? Yes. So how do you, how do you move away from it? It also comes back to us looking inward. Mm. The moment you look inward, you are given all tags. Well, we jumped on the we jumped onto the president's um, campaign, yeah. Ghana Beyond Aid. Yeah. Every single Ghanaian bought into it yeah. because we believed in it. Yeah. In it. Yeah. So we we didn't I, even I still rubbish believe it. in it. So let me let me say something. It will be very disingenuous again mm. to compare a pre-COVID economy to a post-COVID economy. You're a capitalist economy, not so? Mm, yeah. For how many weeks you had to turn the country into a socialist economy? You had to virtually stop money from going to certain places to mm -hmm. take care of people. For how long? How many people lost their jobs, especially in the government sector? Nobody. Go check. People were furloughed. People were oh, sacked. Yeah. The, but in Ghana, everybody was kept. Payroll was being serviced. People didn't lose much let me put it that way uh, it, it, it depends but people's jobs were intact so the question we need to ask ourselves is upon all of this and the monies that were pumped into the economy what were we expecting so right again it brings us to the point where we need to stand up and get counted what are we also now going to give back because nobody expected covid and if we didn't expect covid and we we're supposed to go on the same trend now, if you watch, Ghana would have probably gone back to the bond market, fixed things, have the requisite dollar reserves, and we'll be moving forward. But this is the case. We find ourselves like the Tyson theory. We went yeah. into the ring, we were performing, and then um, <laughs> you were hit by an uppercut. So right. now you now have to regroup. We just, we just need to embrace and not compare uh, pre-COVID economies to post-COVID economies because worldwide, everybody is suffering from the whichever country you want to name it there. And they are even going on strikes, which is weird to them. Mm. So we, we just have to stand up and, and then also do our civic duty. Can the NPP we'll break the eight? I'm very hopeful. I am extremely hopeful. Oh, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I'm extremely hopeful. How are they hopeful. going to do that? By Ghanaians voting for them. That's ah. how they'll do it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's take our final break. We'll come back and talk to Dubik about his personal life, marriage life, kids, and what have you. <laughs> Water is life. Water gives life. Water moves through nature in a never-ending cycle. Observe the beauty of water as it flows all around us, refreshing and restoring. Gaze in wonder at the stillness and beauty of nature. There's harmony in nature everywhere around water revitalizes the body and keeps you going strong water is life water gives life drink awake purified drinking water one for life so relax and unwind and in the calmness of nature find the rest you desire For every bottle of awake you buy, an amount to be donated to the National Cardio Thoracic Center. This advert is FDA approved. The state security agencies will do their work efficiently if we as citizens actively support them. Because the criminals live with us in our communities. Be vigilant at all times. And if you see something, say something. Jama Ankara Mapampana. Kina wanyanye ayrayele ayel bell anna dangana malo. Ki yel karibak. Kina nye yel bell mepelente. If you see something, say something. Say something if you see something, my friend. If you see something, if you say something. Can he tee up someone in red? And he goes to the wall! Oh, oh my God! That's 
rule go is for? I got five champions in it. You want to know? I be the rule go. Tell me. What is the rule go? The left magician. The left magician. Who is the good? Ghana Jollof or Nigerian Jollof? Ghana Jollof has no co-equal. The smell alone. Mm. Oh my god. No, that shit. You two they lie, eh? Now they say you when they use cook the rice, I need to go put them for two. Hey. Hey. You are lying. Oh. Ghana Jollof. Oh. Ghana Jollof. Oh. Are you busy? Forget everybody. Yeah. Put some respect on the goat. On the goat. The only goat I know lives in Tama. Every year we they give to you back to back. Ba, 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 ba. We are talking about PET. I want to hear the other face. Let's be the goat, huh? My guy, him be the goat. <laughs> Our choice of goats may differ in football, music, and jollof. Alumu Bitters always brings us together. Alumu experience greatness in every moment. <laughs> Drink responsibly. Not for sale to persons under 18. Not recommended to pregnant women. This advert is FDA approved. There are many ways to get around, but there's only one way to pay. Momo? Sure. So many styles to choose, but there's only one sure way to pay. Momo? Yes. There's so many you can buy, but there's only one sure way to pay. Momo? Yes. Hey! Give me fish that will share my enemies. There's so much variety. But there's only one sure way to pay. Momo, come on, Yamu. There's so many ways to get together, but there's only one sure way to pay. Got a payment to make? Use MTN Momo and enjoy real convenience in all your financial transactions. Live life the brighter way with MTN Momo. Just Momo it. MTN. Yeah, welcome back to Star Charts live on GH1 TV on Star FM here in Accra, Ultimate FM in Kumasi, and Empire in Takrade. We're also streaming live on Facebook on both pages of Star FM and GH1 TV. Now, I said we're going to talk about your personal life. <laughs> <laughs> How many kids did you have? I have three kids. Three? Three kids? Yes. When did you start? <laughs> Started very early. <laughs> yeah? How old are they? Uh, my son is 10 years old. Okay. My daughter is going to be four. Oh. And then my my last daughter is two. Oh, yeah. oh, they're they're young. Very young. They are very young. I mean, so are you going to add on? I don't know what God has in store for me. So <laughs> I, how can I? Say? But I wish I could just stop here, <laughs> you so wish I you could concentrate could. and give them the best life. Are you married? No, I'm not married at the moment. So these women <laughs> the mothers of these yeah. so is it three different women or one had two or um, one had all <laughs> or three from the same um, woman um, <laughs> um, <laughs> three from the same woman um, <laughs> um, <laughs> do make answer question no? <laughs> I, I plead the fit on this one <laughs> okay i'll let it go I'll, I'll i'll definitely let it go and um i mean so you are you're leading ecg do you get calls from people asking you that, telling you now you're occupying a very big position, so you need to settle down? Yes, I you, do. you you get that. I get that from who? Is it family, friends? No, not family. More of friends and more people of in top hierarchy saying that yeah, you need to settle down. You need to family and all of that. Yeah. But and how how do you take it? I take it as a as a as a, as a punch on the chin, and I just move on. Yeah. At the right time, everything will fall in place. Yeah. If I'm to listen to that and rush, what am I going to do? Mm. I'll come out of it, and mm. then what would be my story? Yeah. So I, I just think it's about, it's about time you take your time Absolutely. and find what works for you. Everybody mm. has their poison. You'll find yours one day. <laughs> That's very true. And, but you don't get that kind of pressure from your, from your family, from your dad? No, 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 not at all. Instance. Not yeah. at all, not at all. He, he, he's expecting me to perform at my topmost level. So mm. I think right now everybody's main aim is to make sure that, look, perform. Mm. Because yours, your opportunity now is not about anything but it's to make a name for yourself. Mm. 
So if you've had this opportunity at this young age to make this name for yourself, why don't you go for it? Right. Um, you can build everything as you're going on, but right now, mm. concentrate on your... Because in truth, whatever situation or relationship you find yourself, after all is said and done and the curtain goes down, mm. it's between you and your God and your pillow. Yep. yep. If you don't have that peace of mind, how can you perform? Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. And uh, has, has this job changed you in any way? Oh, yes. Yes. It's made me very humbling. It has humbled me. Right. This job has humbled me because it wasn't something I saw coming. Okay. And how it happened, it, it's, 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 it's grace. So it humbles you and right. it makes you see life in a different stead. And it makes you appreciate certain little, little things that we normally take for granted, especially life. Mm. How do you find a public service? Wow. Mm. <laughs> It works, it but the speed is the problem. It's slow. It's slow. Okay. It works. The processes are there, the procedures are there, but it needs, it needs to be cranked up. Mm -hmm. But it, it's all about a mindset and the conversations and how you speak to people to carry them along. So most of it will be kind of young como. How you manage people mm -hmm. or how you speak to them is... It, that would, is what would lead to you bringing the best out of them. So You, you speak impeccable, Chi. Ah, <laughs> thank you, yeah. thank you. But thank you are you. you are not in any way. I'm, I'm a northerner. I'm a yeah. one hundred percent northerner. Do you I'm speak your language? What I language? Speak do my you? language. You speak Bimoba. No. Bimo. Okay, but yeah. you speak it. Yeah, I do speak my language too. Uh, okay, then you speak Chi. I speak Chi too. Yeah. Any other Ghanaian language? Ga. Okay, yeah. well, you lived in Accra. Accra, yes, mm. so I speak some Ga too, and. Ah, uh, Hausa is also there, but Hausa is not a Ghanaian language. Yeah. Anyway, so. Oh, but you speak Hausa too. Yeah, I speak Hausa too. Oh, wow. That's well, interesting. Yeah, and I, the, as for international languages, a, a friend of mine would say, Theodore would say, I have a working knowledge of French. <laughs> working knowledge. <laughs> you, can, you can swing your bonjou yeah, bonjou. I, 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 I know, I know, Right. And you're not in any way related to the former president? Not that I know of. Okay. I'm not discounting it, but not that I know of. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, a, that's a conversation that I've not really gone further, but I, I don't... I, I know. I don't. I, you don't, I don't think I don't, so. I don't, I don't it's think just a coincidence. The I, name it's just is just a coincidence, just, and yeah. the, the looks also, also don't. Are you sure? That's what that, you see, because the, of the because looks. Because you, eh? yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because he's just as tall. Well, yeah. Well, it's Ghana. We could be related. So, hello, Mister. <laughs> Oh, uh, brother, say Uncle John. Uncle John. Uh, hi, Uncle John. He could be your next yeah. president. He could. Yes. Uh, look, mm. in this life, you mm. never say never. Mm. Anything that you don't control. You don't speak ill of. Mm. If you're able to control it, then you know the outcome. What do you make of, or what 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 do you make of his tenure as president? I think he he had his challenges. Mm. He had his difficulties, just like any president. But I think he executed to the best of his ability, and the people of Ghana just are the ones who made a choice mm. that it ended in the way it ended. But I think it has nothing personal against him or mm. or his person, but it's just politics. Okay. And poli with politics, no matter what you do, mm. there must be a winner and there must be a loser at some okay. point. So, but, but you're an NPP sympathizer, right? <clears throat> yes, you are. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, yes, I am. There's yes, nothing I am. in yes, your throat. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. How did you end up there? Is it uh, my of dad. Your dad? It's my dad. But you could have gone the other way. I could have. I could have. I could have. But you see, I have a father who, who he, he would have, he, he's that guy who's interested in what you're doing. Mm. You know, trying to shape your sensibilities, yeah. trying yeah. to have chats with you, yeah. to try to let you see things his way. But he's, he's he, don't, don't get me wrong, he's open to divergent views. Okay. Because he actually feels like he would learn from your divergent views. So he's one person that you can have an unending conversation with him. And he's a historian, so you can imagine. Okay. If he catches you, he that is not drinking and you are drinking, you okay. will hear things. Okay. I'm, I'm, I know you won't answer this question, but I'll still ask. <laughs> Which can Don't no answer. Don't no ask the question. <laughs> well, you, you, could, you could surprise me and answer. <laughs> team Baumia or Team Alan K? You see, again, I don't have a choice in that one. You don't? Uh, so what I'll say is this. When the party decides, you have to fall in line. Okay. That's, that's the thing. But yeah. Which of these two men do you think could help the NPP break the eight? 
I would say the party would decide that. Me, <laughs> me Samuel Dubik, Bahawa, if I decided, <laughs> who am I going to influence? Well, you're not I can't influencing. influence anybody. Well, you have a constituency at the ECG. Yeah, but, yeah, but they all have minds of their own. That's true. So, so at the end of the day, it's about what the party decides. Yeah. What the party wants, the party gets. Yeah. So, I, for me, I like how the whole thing is going. How where... is the NPP going to break the eight? You said by Ghanaians voting for Yeah, them. exactly. It's, it's, it's a task. Wouldn't look, it be a task? Look, let me tell you something. Uh -huh. A crown of thorns mm -hmm. always precedes a crown of glory. Mm. It's tough right now. Let's be fair. But the glory is just around the corner. Mm. We just need to give it some time and we'll get there. And I believe when the Ghanaians see the glory, they would, they would vote accordingly. We'll, we'll see glory. Yeah, we'll see glory and we'll vote accordingly. Yeah? Yeah. When is this glory coming? Ah, soon come, as they say. Ah, soon come. <laughs> soon come. What do you do for fun? I play football twice a week. <laughs> I watch football on TV. You love football? I do. Which I team do. do you support? Newcastle United. Oh, you must be maybe the fifth Newcastle United fan in Ghana. We don't play. We are there are just about five people. or six of you. We thank you very in much. Africa. <laughs> <laughs> in maybe, Africa. In Africa. Maybe two, two in is it Sierra Leone or Senegal because of Papis? Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and Demba, yeah, yeah. Maybe. And Demba. And Demba. And Demba. Yeah. But you're probably just seven in Africa. We thank you, but at least we are acknowledged. <laughs> we are acknowledged. Right now, we are also we are coming up. Now you have new owners. Uh, oh, are, wow. I, you are Manchester United fan. Right? Absolutely. Okay, so what happened last weekend? It was just a blip. It's uh, normal. You but, but, you but lose new, some, you, you Newcastle won you in opening day. It's okay. You know, we didn't you win know, by one. Oh. It, it's okay. We won by two. It's okay. okay. It's okay. okay. <laughs> if you check the history of Manchester United, <laughs> every season that we've lost our first two, three games, we go on to win the league. Hey. Losing <laughs> opening game is nothing. I wish, We're I wish, used to that. I wish, I wish we could have this conversation <laughs> at the end of the season. And we know what is happening. Oh, no. Our team is not at the best level yet. Okay. We are not at the... I mean, it's we a are, work in progress. It's a work in progress. Okay. I mean, we've had some challenges it will get better great. we'll get there great we yes. are watching you oh watch us yeah very but you can never... united will be newcastle oh no newcastle yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway so you play football you watch yeah, football i watch football i love to drive what do you think about the local premier league the local league we need some more investment into that but mm. i think there's there, there, there's a huge amount of talent in it that mm. just needs to be harnessed mm -hmm. and pushed in the right direction i just think um look you look at the premier league they decided to sell it as a tourist attraction. Yeah. If we also want to do the same, we can do the same. It involves a lot of investment. Mm -hmm. So the onus is on us to redirect and do our best to invest in that sector. And it will grow. Mm. We'll reap the benefits of it. Yeah. Yeah. You, you said you play football. Yeah. What position? So as you're aging, <laughs> your position changed. <laughs> what was your previous position? Well, I, was, I always loved to be in the midfield because I could run and I was a bit right. mobile. But now I need to stand at one place and calculate. <laughs> so I like playing up top. So there's so you wait for the ball to yeah, get. Yeah, then you have a few best runs here. Move <laughs> left, move right. Do you score goals? I do my best. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yesterday I scored a few. Yesterday I played. You scored a few. Yeah. Were you playing against class four? Oh no, I played against my own caliber of men and you scored I scored a few, a few goals a few, yeah they allowed you to score yeah, a few goals. I, I'm, I'm, I'm. these men <laughs> <laughs> I want to see them no you have to see yeah yeah so, yeah. so yeah, that's yeah. what you do for fun yeah and what do you fun. usually eat do you cook um, I have my days but I haven't done that in a while okay but yeah. what's your favorite thing to eat oh spaghetti Oh. Yeah, I'm a spaghetti guy. Really? Yeah. What about spaghetti? I don't know. It's just it's just easy to eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I get you. Thank you so much uh, for honoring this invitation. It was it's been a pleasure talking to you. The pleasure Absolutely. Is, pleasure and we hope that you find a solution to this um ECG combo tassel. I definitely yeah. will. We'll Thank you so much. Thank we you. wish you all the best. That's Thank ECG. You. Thank you. Yeah, Thank we'll you. come to you with our bills. Right. Can you do promo <laughs> for for Ghanaians, for your consumers? You pay one month, you get next well, month, month free. free. Yeah. So can I also promo. advertise for free here? Oh yeah, I'll give you a good deal. Because you, know, you, you, you give me a good deal. But mind their promo. But their promo is a but deal. But promo too. is losing money. So if oh, you no. allow me to advertise for six months free. 
Well, it depends on the deal. What deal? The <laughs> agreement we have. <laughs> Thank you so much, You're Bibi. Welcome. Thank you You're for welcome. watching uh, the show and listening to it on radio. Have a good night. Jojo Lamar